on guys it's your boy Cecil here brings a video here today bring you guys a photoshop to get your own cool simplistic professional like kind of like a 2018 upgraded version of our older sort of like professional simplistic whatever you guys are now so basically this video here today is actually sponsored by skillshare skillshare.com you guys are not what skillshare happens to be and you guys know by the way i choose my sponsors very very closely very honest about like making sure that you can, something that you guys can help or learn from or just sort of like it has to be graphics related for me and it's just this right here was just a really big surprise for me personally um so basically they came up to me and he was like hey you guys wanna you know as in you guys it's a me i don't know why people think the whole hq thing you guys it's just a me thing all right anyway asked if i wanted to sort of uh, sponsor up and i was like of course for sure they gave me a free trial and for the free trial i actually found a really really cool logo designer personally as you guys know i like kind of like sold kind of like you know at the end of 2017 as like a low designer and actually aaron depaul or depalin depalin whatever the heck how do you ever say it? you guys always talk about names um is a very really cool individual honestly he actually taught me a lot when it comes to typeface um the actual site itself is very very nice and responsive of course it's hd videos stuff like that of course and as well as you can actually have like a little table of content on the right hand side so a table of content on the right hand side you basically click through search what you want to search with a nice little headline and you kind of like flows very very evenly very well and i honestly really really do like it personally a lot so in the description down below you can actually purchase three months for one dollar it's a nice little little kind of like promo code they're giving you guys so you guys want to choose that go ahead and check it out but they have over 18,000 classes um they have like different categories of like when it comes to like logo illustration uh animation even like lifestyle like healthy choices cooking kind of things it's really really dope and it's also basically a one month sort of or one month or annually kind of subscription right and you can choose as many videos you want to watch as many videos you want to watch you can just choose as many and you have to pay for each individual one which i find pretty pretty like pretty freaking cool so hope you guys do enjoy today's video here today um i'm just gonna yeah i already recorded it but it's like i just like saying it because you know why the heck not i know you guys will enjoy it. it's a simplistic video i love you guys very very much and i really really truly drew i truly truly i, I truly drooly um i <laughs> think you guys should check out skillshare.com honestly and it's really cool i'm gonna pretty much keep learning and you're gonna be like oh cool so that's she got really good yeah uh i'm just watching videos honestly it's really cool honestly so i'm gonna talk to you guys in a second we're gonna watch this video and we're do this video i already did the video and you're gonna watch this video and you're gonna learn something from this video and uh much love don't leave me though just you can go to skillshare and stuff like that but don't leave me okay i need you all right much love talk to you guys in a second peace all right, homies, let's go ahead and get this thing going. So I'm going to start off with a little crease, kind of little, I don't know how do you call it, like a crease gradient or something like that. I'm going to call it a crease gradient in this little section right here. So basically, I'm going to just hide this off right now. And the color that I did start off with was this color here. However, I'm going to change the color up with the color balance. So really, the starting color does not ma uh, matter too much, but at least get the shades correct, right? And I'll tell you guys in a second when I actually get there. But we're going to make a new layer. We're going to take our pen tool, which is the shortcut P on the keyboard, um, and we're just going to simply come down here i want to follow the same angle which angle is it it's like right over here and like right over here all right that's close enough to the angle so on that nice little curve angle basically I kind of split the entire banner in half right it's a nice little slice right down the middle or wherever you feel like. this is pretty much the middle technically right you can see almost close enough anyway basically once you have this you right click fill the path in drop down to use color so whatever color you ended up using right what i'm going to select is this color here first i believe i'm going to use this one right here um this text code is 21897b and the actual background color is 03a691 so if you guys want to choose those colors you guys can but i am going to change it up with the color balance so it doesn't really matter too much but as you can see the difference of tone between this color right here and where the circle is and if you look at where this color is it's pretty much just a little less I guess or excuse me a little more dull and a little more darker and then also a little slight to the left so if you want to you know maybe mess around with that when you're using your color scheme um just like keep in mind press okay press okay again and delete path so now i'm going to do is i'm going to simply as you can see here you didn't see that the entire actual little cu uh, curve or cut or whatever you want to call it um wasn't completely just all the way through the actual banner design so if you guys probably know word, like wonder what i did all i did was i use a nice soft eraser with a nice uh, soft brush and take my eraser and just simply erase just like so a nice little simple stroke that way you can see it just goes from darker to basically like a lighter like a gradient like i said like in like kind of like a curve or a cut or whatever i said crease right we're gonna go with that anyway that's the first little uh little like curve we did i dude i need to find a word to use otherwise i'm gonna keep messing up but we're gonna go with crease we're gonna go with crease 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 it's a crease it's a crease okay all right so i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and just show this really quick i want to show the same angle as before again right so i'm gonna take my pen tool and I'm going to say it's right here. That's a nice little 
little area right there. I'll go around the banner design. As you can see, that crease right there. I'll hide this again so you can see this is where our next little shape is going to be at. I'm going to right click this, fill the path in, drop down, use color. And we're going to use a little darker color again this time. So look where this circle is, where the hex code is, where the actual little uh, little pane of like, you know, whatever you would call like a turquoise blue. And we see the darker shade that I'm using is hex code 106E61. So you guys want to use the same one you guys can. And you can see it just moved like a little further down and uh, press OK. Delete the path and take my eraser and simply erase. Oops, I put on the different, I should have put on a different layer for some reason. I didn't do that. Let's do that really quickly. Different layer. Fill that in. There we go. You're probably like, yo, you didn't change the color or change the layer. All right, I got you. I got you. All right, so eraser and I'll just simply erase just like so. And I think that's pretty much how I want to have it, right? Something like that. Yeah, pretty much the same exact thing. Sweet. So once I have this, I'm basically set for the whole entire like highlight. So just call this highlight one. Uh, highlight one. I'm gonna call this one highlight two. And while I have you guys while I'm typing this down, I want to appreciate you guys very much for the uh, support on the video that I posted last week. The first video of 2018, it did really, really freaking well. I appreciate that very, very much. And that's why I want to, you know, kind of come back in with a nice little, very popular, uh, kind of like professional schemes, uh, t uh, simplistic video, whatever. Um, so yeah, the color balance code that I used here, like I said, I changed the actual background color with the color balance. So you guys want to change the same, same exact color I had. If you guys put the same exact hex code and same exact color balance uh, settings, you guys will find the exact same blue that I use. So for my cyan to red, I use negative 12. For my magenta to green, I use negative 27. <clears throat> and then for my yellow to blue, I use 40, right? So you can see a nice little darkish kind of blue, right? You can you can choose if you guys want to to move your blue a little more further down or use your magenta, move it a little further this way. But for me, I'm going to say this is perfect for me. I'm going to put this on actually like I kind of like what 30 looked like or 25 kind of right rather than this. I kind of like how that looked. I don't know. Let's just, let's just put it on 40 for now. Uh, I'll put it on 35. Why not? Anyway, so once you find your color, this is pretty much the whole entire start. And this is sort of like the kind of like the basically that's it kind of thing but what we're gonna do of course is the little indention or not the indention but the uh little black little box you got going on over here so the way i did that was i simply made a new layer right if you guys don't have your actual rulers up already if you guys want to if you know how to do them either i'll just do this one over again for you guys so if you press control r on your keyboard it brings up these rulers right here on the top and on the side so you can see that i'm gonna take my ruler just click on wherever like the numbers are move your ruler to the right you'll see this little line start up here and if you just kind of guess where the middle is for me this is right where the middle is like i'm just going to take a guess you'll feel like a little snap you'll see the snap obviously but you'll kind of like feel it as well it's like oh, snap snap so that's kind of telling you guys where the actual middle of the actual design banner design or dimensions you're using are i'm gonna click that just like so and also did the same thing for the horizontal line so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use the ellipse tool which is the circle tool I'm going to go right on my horizontal line. So right where my crosshairs are, I'm going to line those things up. I'm going to hold Alt and Shift just like so. So holding Alt is going to leave you the same exact spot that I clicked at. And holding Shift is going to make it a perfect circle. I'm going to make a nice perfect circle. Right. And let me just check really quick where I put that. Just I want to have it on the same spot. And OK, so my circle is a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to make that a little more bigger. Right. Just like so. Close enough. What's going to happen here is I'm going to basically right click and let's find that color that we use. We'll just use a nice like it was almost like a nice little black. Let's see here. Right click, fill, drop down, use color. I'm just going to like find a nice little black around here. I think it's something like this. Close enough. Press OK. Deselect it. There you go. Nice little black you can see there, right? All right. So what I'm going to do is I know it's not filled in the other side over here, but I kind of measured it where the middle of this was as well. So I'm going to basically just simply take another rectangle marquee tool and then just highlight it again. It's like the same exact color on the same exact layer, right? So you have a circle that's going to be halfway right here. And then you're going to have a nice little rectangle you're going to put in to fill in this little space with the same exact color by just using all backspace to quick fill it in. And there you guys go. Now you have that nice little sort of bluish or blackish. Oh, what kind of hex code was this? I didn't say the hex code, was it? I said 0F, 0F11. This is not the same exact one that I used before, but I know it's close enough, but it'll still work, honestly. So I'm going to quickly just see if I change the color a little bit to match it to something like this better yeah, close enough all right sweet so once i have this basically the next thing i'm gonna do is a little indention that's what i was talking about before is this little thing right here this little line kind of like indention i call it it's basically using a nice marquee tool or if you want a pen tool shape you guys can and you use a black brush and you just kind of like like use the brush on the actual marquee selection or the how you call it the marching ant selection like people in school do and then you basically get a nice little curve like this so that's gonna do right away right now and we're just going to do that just like so. I'm going to try to follow that same exact angle again. And the angle is something like this. All right. 
and then we're just gonna click it go around the actual banner design because this is where we want to fill in right I'm gonna right click make selection and I'm gonna press OK and that'll make that a selection for us that way we can actually fill it in as we want to we're gonna make a new layer use a pretty nice softness brush right opacity why is my opacity super low that's not the right brush that's why there we go brush tool and we're gonna use a nice black brush and we're gonna simply just select and just go a little something like that right I'm gonna take my eraser here and I'm just gonna kind of fade out this little end over here because we just want what this looks like right here this looks pretty good and I think that's pretty much that part right there so I'm gonna call this indent for now and we're gonna call this black box for now and we're gonna throw in our text as well here so I'm gonna put in the words um simplistic and we're gonna make this white we're gonna make this over here change this little VA separation if you guys don't know how to do this right here where you actually separate the layers or excuse me the letters by spacing that's what this is for so if you guys want to use this you guys can and if you don't know how to bring up the character table a simple way to do it is just highlight your entire text and just press control T it'll bring it up right away um press zero on that because I don't want it on zero and then I want this on a pretty nice uh, thing here let's put it on like this right here let's try to find this make it a little bit bigger just like so simplistic banner design now I think this is the same as I want I used this one right didn't I I did use this one let's change that as well which one narrow or I think I did use narrow this is not on narrow okay put that on narrow and then for the subtext I kind of put this one on the Gotham black so if you guys want to know my the fonts that I use those were them um simply just like so Right, and up here I had my website link, which was www.sesohq.com. Right, we're trying to keep it professional, trying to put that stuff in there, but I made it super small with Nexa Bold anyway, and I lowered this to like, I don't know, I would say like even lower than four. I think it was three, and we put our VA up just a little bit to kind of make it separate it. And we're gonna put that right on top of this right here. And then we're gonna make sure that, uh, oh, I put first of 2018, but I'm just gonna keep it as that this time, banner design. Um, just like so we're gonna change this color to this blue over here I only want half of it though so one half is gonna be blue the other half is gonna be white and then we got a nice little simple text going right there and it looks pretty good so that's a little text right there as well so the next part that I'm gonna do is a nice little black little erase curve I'm gonna call it right and basically as you see over here this little black line right here is also kind of an indention in a way but it's more of like filling in with a black and then erasing that way you get this nice little cool gradient on your text as well right above it so that's why i'm putting my text first and then right above that will be the next little uh i guess you would call it indention um so we're going to use the marquee tool again the ellipse marquee tool make a nice big circle and we're just going to say right about let's see where was it right about here right very simple so we're going to fill this in with the color black, but we're going to make it a little less black, but we can always go back into using control U, which is the hue and saturation, change it more darker or lighter if you choose to. So I'm going to keep it for this right now. Press OK. And on this new layer, just quick fill it in, press Alt Backspace, or you can right click, fill the layer in, but I'm just going to press Alt Backspace because I already changed the color over here. Control D to deselect. And I'm going to take this, take my eraser, nice soft brush eraser, and then simply erase just like so right around here and also make sure I have it right above my text just a little bit I can make it a little bit darker without ruining too much and you can see just a little bit of that little gradient right there I think to me it looks pretty cool kind of just kind of feels right in my opinion if I want to move this over to the left you'll see it gets more and more darker but it all depends on where you kind of want it I would say like right here it's pretty good for me all right, we're going to say right there is pretty good. So the next part is we're going to cut out basically a circle and then we're going to put it towards the left of here. So if you can see on our original concept again, you see this little circle here. It's also actually cut out of right here. That's why it kind of flows very nice and evenly. So what I'm going to do is, of course, I'm going to combine all this stuff together and I'm going to combine it. Let's make this a little smaller, by the way, because I think this is a little smaller. Make it a little bit smaller. Right now it feels a little too small, but we're just gonna just leave right there. Anyway, so we're gonna fill, excuse me, not fill anything. We can just hide this stuff for now. Just quickly hide the actual text, just because if you make your circle a little bit too big, or if your text is a little bit too big, and you made the circle and you cut out the circle, you're gonna have your text in your little circle on your left-hand side, which you would definitely do not want. So once you hide your little, you know, whatever you wanna hide, you want it, uh, the text basically, right? We're gonna take this, hold shift on everything, that we select everything in between, and we press control J, it makes a duplicate for us, and then we press control E, that'll actually merge it all together into one single layer that's what we can cut it out with now so I'm gonna take my nice little ellipse tool again we're gonna go ahead and hold alt and shift both make perfect circles and leave the same exact spot 
I think right there is pretty good. Now on this new layer here that we just made and we combined it off everything together, we're going to right click layer via cut, just like so. Delete this layer right here. We're going to take this layer now that's going to call it the left circle. All right, and then we're going to call this, I know I forgot the E, but whatever, we're going to call this black shading, because why the heck not? And then we're going to take this left circle, we're going to just simply move it to the left, shrink it down a little bit, why the heck not? And move it right over here, All right? We're going to bring our text back in here now. So, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Mm. Maybe right there is pretty good. All right, perfect. All right, sweet. So what really is next is basically a very simple finish to this entire thing, which is going to be making a new layer, taking a soft brush, holding alt on your keyboard. If you guys did not know, you have this little eyedropper tool. When you hold alt, when you have your brush open, that way you can just kind of select over in like your entire banner design, whatever colors you have, you'll be able to select it by simply hovering over that color. I'm going to hover over a simple little blue right here. And I'm going to just click one time up here, put this on linear dodge add, Right, and I'll click one over here on this circle right here. Right, I'll take this eraser really quickly and kind of oops, take an eraser. Get make sure this snow blue is leaking on this black here, just like so. Now, if you guys want to, you can lower your passage down just a little bit. That little simple lighting effect is just going to make it just that much better, in my opinion. Now, I did have a different version of this, by the way. I, is it in here still? It's not, but whatever. Where I kind of had you saw how I did the circle thing, basically, I'll just show you guys really quickly. What I ended up doing was a different version. You can guys try to do this yourself, but this is not what I'm doing in today's tutorial. But what I did was I used a nice little symbol. Once I finished this right here, I went ahead and sort of make another big circle, a kind of a bigger circle like this. I cut this circle out of here, right? Take this here. And then on this little cut right here that we just made on this little different, uh, excuse me, this little, mm, there we go. This right here, control T to free transform. And I flipped it horizontal and I got something like this. Now, when I did something like this, it kind of looked weird on this side here because this both didn't measure up to, the, to each other. But for some reason, this felt like it was going somewhere, but I felt like it was getting too, like, you know, complex and whatnot, kind of getting rid of the whole simplistic, you know, kind of vibe to it. But if you guys want to try something like this, you can even flip it like horizontal or vertical. I don't know. You guys can try it out. You guys can just try something out. Maybe make another different cut and make it put in between these right here. I can see it. I know it, but I just couldn't perfect, uh, perfect it myself, but maybe you guys can. So right here, this is pretty much the end result. What I'm going to really quickly do is combine everything together. Control J, Control E to merge it together. Go to filter. We're going to go to noise. We're going to add a little bit of noise on here. I added about 2%. Press OK, as you can see the nice little, little simple little noise right there. Looks pretty nice and clean. Now to make this even look cleaner, what we're gonna do is combine it all together again. Control J, Control E, right? So on your noise filter, we're gonna go to filter gallery and we're gonna go to artistic and go to paint dubs, whatever it's called. Put your brush size to one and your sharpness to one. And as you can see, once you click on it, you'll see how sharp and everything and really nice and clean things really do get. Now, of course, shout out to Aaron because he's the one who told me that. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much the end result. I think it's similar, if not incredibly similar to this right here, but I did also put a little picture in the background here. So if I want to do that same exact thing, I would have to get rid of this really quickly. And then basically to put a picture and you see this black box right here, I'm going to take this picture. I have one over here. Where are you? Over here. Take this picture, right? Simply put it behind that black box. I'll make it a little more bigger. By this picture, I will put the link to the description of the person who took the picture. It's actually one of my personal friends. If you guys want to give her a follow on Behance. Um, basically, I have this on color overlay, don't I? So I got to rasterize this so that way it can actually be shown above it. And I put my luminosity, excuse me, I put my blend mode on luminosity, took my opacity about 15%, right? I took my eraser, clicked on it, and just erased a little bit around. That way it kind of looked a little more nice and clean. And that's pretty much the end result. Of course, I did have this on here as well, but we're not going to do that over again. But for the sake of just knowing that is how I did the noise and the paint dupes to get a nice little sharpness on there. And, uh... That'll be it. So basically, hope you guys enjoyed today's video here today. If you guys did, um, much love. I love you guys very, very much. As you can see, I did click on it to bring up my camera again because it went uh, away. But yeah, this is the second video of 2018. I think we're going to kill it. I think, it's, I think this is going to be a good one as well because as you guys know from like last year, I did the whole professional series uh, looking banner design at this did, and that did really well as well. So I want to give my little updated take on it. And I think this looks super super clean as well and I, I don't know i kind of just inverted the colors kind of flipped everything a little bit together and kind of like put in a different kind of finalized step that way it can look even more sharper even more professional and just even more better overall so hope you guys do enjoy today's video here today i know I'm, uh, in the beginning of the video as you guys know it's a sponsored video uh of course thank you very much for the sponsor i appreciate you very 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 much that's my uh if you guys don't know if i, I, I like to live stream sometimes right and i do this weird little asmr thing i don't know sometimes i suck at it but it doesn't really 
Anyway, we're gonna stop doing that right now. Um, so yeah, so I really, really appreciate you guys. I this is like my first concert of 2018. Hopefully, get way more. Um, I'm gonna pick them very, very, of course, precisely. I love it very, very freaking much. And Skillshare honestly is a really dope place. If you guys were wondering how I got so excel in the whole like logo tutorials and stuff like that, that's where I got it from. So of course, now we're gonna check out the link in the description down below. I believe it's like what three uh months for 99 cents or 99 dollars, excuse me, 99 cents, or like basically a dollar, something like that. Whatever I pro I had it right in the beginning. Let's just see, let's just leave it like that, and we're gonna pretty much just say later guys talk to you guys later so this way you out don't forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive guys later much love kisses